I have had a request to show how to do some stacking of multiple days in the CSTAR app. Um, we want to gather a lot of exposures and in order to stack multiple days, people have been wondering how you do that. And it's very simple in the CSTAR app itself. Of course, you can also export those FITS files into other software but I'm going to show you how to do it on the CSTAR app. And so what I've done is I have turned on my CSTAR and then I'm going to launch the app. And then when it launches, it connects to my CSTAR. And I have named my CSTAR the College Gateway to match my YouTube channel. And so um, that's why it shows that in the left-hand corner here. Um, but what I want to do, first let's go in and let's look at the album. So in my album, I want to look at the files that are saved on my C star. And the one that I'm going to do is this um, NGC 7635. That one is a really neat one. It's called the Bubble Nebula. And this is what it looks like. And it's just really cool. I think it's awesome. Um, that was a stacked picture of it. These other pictures on here are also stacked images of um, the exposures that I took on different days. So you can see that I took some on May 31st, and then I took some on June 1st, and then I took some yesterday. In this folder are just the stacked images, and you can tell that because of the little icon in the left of each of those photos. You can see it looks like a stack of papers. That's telling me that those are stacked images. And so that's the one I want to do. But when I come back here to see the files on the C star, there are two folders for that NGC 7635. The one I just clicked on just has the name of the object. The one next to it to the right is NGC 7635 sub. And that has all of those individual saved exposures. Now I did take all of these on 20 second exposures because I found that's the most efficient for my C star, my lighting area, you know, that kind of thing. So the, I've been using the 20 second exposures. So each one of these little images here equates to 20 seconds of exposure. If I scroll down on um, this, well, let, let's go back up to the top, let's see. Uh, at the top you see it says these images were taken yesterday and that will change with the date as the date changes but and then let's scroll down a little bit longer there is a big list of object or exposures in this folder so it can take a little bit to find where the next day is so here's here's one that I saved on May 31st and all of those exposures I saved then. The other one, I must have scrolled past it. It was June 8th, I believe. Um, but um, I have three days worth, yeah, there, June 1st. Um, I have three days worth of saved 20 second exposures. Now it doesn't matter if it's a mixture. So some of these could be 10 second exposures. Some of them could be 20, some of them could be 60. It doesn't matter. The C star just recognizes it as one image. And so it doesn't, you can mix and match them. I've just been taking all of mine in 20 second exposures because that's what works best on my C star. And so I see now that I have three days worth of exposures and I want to stack all of those because we've accumulated them to get a better image. And so I want to stack all those. So how we do it in the C star app is I'm going to use that deep sky stack. So the first thing we do is we're going to go back to the main home screen of the C star. And you see, I'm still connected to the C star because that's where the files are saved. So we need the C star turned on and connected so that we can get those exposures out of there. So we're going to click on the deep sky stack here in the bottom middle. And then you come to this screen and is telling me there is a tutorial there, but I guess that's what this video is as well. So at the very bottom, we're going to click add images. 
And when you do that, it's going to bring up every one of the subs folders that is saved on your C star. Now the subs folders, it doesn't differentiate between days, exposure rate, it just differentiates between object number. And so the one that we're going to work with is this NGC 7635 subs folder in the top left hand corner. You see, I have a whole bunch of others that are saved on my C star. I probably ought to clean some off because it's probably uh, filling up the memory, but we're going to work with this NGC 7635 folder. So you click on that folder and then it's wanting me to select all of the images that I want it to stack. And now if I scroll down in here, let's I clicked buttons. Let me clear those. And so I'm going to scroll down in here and you'll see that uh, at the very top of that screen, it said it was yesterday. And now right here, it shows that these are the exposures from June 8th. Whoops, keep doing that. It, it won't matter. Um, so then I scroll down a little farther. These are June 1st and I believe there's even other days. So there's more than three days worth of exposures saved on the sea star for that object and so it's going to stack what i tell it to stack and so i'm going to click the easiest way to do it is clicking in the top right hand corner that button that says all and then that selects every one of those exposures that is saved on the sea star for that object because we've told it what object folder we want it to look for those fits files and it um, has selected every FITS file that is saved for that object number. And so you see, it says there's 970 items selected. And then at the bottom, I'm going to click OK. It's going to think a minute and then it's going to come up here and it's going, I can either add additional images if I didn't add them all and I still want to add more, I can still do that. But you you would only add objects from the same um, exposures from the same object. I hope that makes sense. And then I'm going to click stack in the bottom right hand corner. And then you see it gives me an estimated time for this stacking to happen. And it's 48 minutes. So it's just shy of an hour to stack 970 exposures in the C Star app. When it is done, it is going to generate a JPEG file. It, that file, you wouldn't export, export that file into Cyril and stack it in Cyril. The JPEG file is the final image that you, you would save. That's something you could print. You could email it. You could save it to your phone. You can export JPEG files into other software and do more post-processing on it, but it is the final image. And so it has taken every one of those exposures and meshed them all together, rotated them, plate solved them, all of that sort of stuff is happening here in this stacking in the Deep Sky stack in the C-Star app. And so um, the image that is the result once this hour goes through a stacking and it produces an image is a JPEG file. And that, that file, you can still edit it in the C Star app. You can denoise it in the C Star app. You can export it into Photoshop. You can export it into other post-processing software, but it is a JPEG file now. It is no longer FITS files. And so that's something to keep in mind when you're doing this. Um, I find the Deep Sky Stack does a great job. Um, you can still go in and do other post-processing, removing stars, um, doing color enhancing or brightening or darkening or sharpening or color contrast, you know, that stuff. You can still do that on that JPEG file. This is working on 970 exposures. Uh, when it gets done, um, it will tell me how many it actually stacked. Now it is possible that it stacks all 970. We won't know that until we get to the end, but if it senses star trails or something that 
makes one of those exposures not able to stack, it will discard those. And at the end, it does tell you how many were actually um, stacked. And so uh, we won't keep you watching for that whole hour because that would be a long video. Uh, but I will bring you back when the stacking is closer to done so we can see that process. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm bringing you back. I'm trying to figure out, okay, we had 970 exposures times 20 seconds because they were 20 second exposures. If we divide that by 60, we get 323 seconds of exposure uh, divided by 60 minutes per hour. It's about five and a three quarters, five and a half to five and three quarters hours of exposure on this that we're stacking here. Um, I go back to the deep sky stack. It's just reloading the data um, as I switched out of the app. It's still in the process. It has about three minutes left to go. Um, I just wanted to calculate now how many 970 exposures at 20 seconds each, how much actual minute time is that? And it's, you know, five and a half hours of exposure on this one object. At the end, when it is done, um, I will show a couple of the images that I took off the Sea Star on individual days, so we can see the difference between, you know, one night's exposures and then the full stacked version of the exposures too. So we can see the difference in adding so many more exposures, you know, five and a half hours is, you know, close to a thousand exposures. That's quite a bit. And so it should make a, a fairly decent image different. And so, um, it is kind of slowing down here as we get to the end. So I will bring you back when it's a little bit closer. So I did bring you back a little bit early because I've I've noticed that it does give me an estimated re remaining duration, but it's clicking off different than a clock would tick it off. So I don't know if it's, you know, the stacking process. This is number or time estimates in a stacking process, not by a clock apparently. Um, but I wanted to be sure and bring you back so you see what happens when it actually finishes. And then we'll go through that process. Um, I will put up some images of the object that you can see with different varying amounts of exposure time. Of course, this one is going to be the most. And I think we figured out it was about five and a half hours worth of exposure, which is quite a bit for me anyway. I, I know there are people out there that gather thousands and thousands of minutes, but um, I'm maybe not quite that invested. I don't know, but um, I'm curious to see if it drops any of those exposures. I could go through and unselect some of those exposures. I just selected them all and had it stack them all just for ease of doing the video. But you could go in and unselect specific ones. If there was a satellite that went through one of those exposures, you could have unselected that one and excluded it yourself. Um, I'm curious to see how many it excludes through the process of the stacking software. Um, you know, the C-Star app, it, it does a really good job. This is a powerful, stacking is not an easy process. And so the fact that it's in this free app, I, I guess we all know we paid for the C-Star, but the app itself is free. I mean, they could be charging us in-app purchases like a lot of the other apps, if, but they don't. Um, I really appreciate that they enhance the app. They keep adding new features. It's really a, a great system. And, you know, it costs them 
tens of thousands of dollars to have programmers create this software. And so I do appreciate the ease of it. I have done some stacking in Cyril. I find it complicated and overwhelming. And then if I don't do it regularly, it's like a whole new learning curve all over again every time I open it up. So I just really haven't gotten into it real extensively. Um, but the C-Star app, it does a good job of doing the stacking. So why bother with the others if I if it's frustrating to me? I don't know. Maybe someday I'll devote the time and energy to do that. But we are on the last 30 seconds. I'll see it was at 30 seconds and then it pops up that it was completed. And so it stacked all 970. You can see that in the bottom right under where it says 100%. It discarded zero. And then it's saved, it, it's telling us the stack, the stack file is saved in NGC 7635 folder. And the reason it's telling us that is because now it's a JPEG picture that it's saved. And so that has saved in the My Album under not the subs folder, the object number. So let's go ahead and we'll check it now. And there we go. And we can zoom in on it. And that's 970 exposures. Now in the top right hand corner, I'm going to click on the denoise. We will do that here in the app. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with denoise. Sometimes it makes things look fuzzy and more out of focus. Nebula almost always look a little fuzzy to begin with, but you know, see it makes it look a little bit more watercolored. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word for it. But I do like that. It's pretty. I love that bubble nebula. Down here at the bottom, we could do some cropping, which I almost always do. Uh, we could do some darkening and lightening. You know, we can go real crazy with it. But I don't really want to do that for this, um, this video. I'm just showing you how to do that deep sky stack. In the top right corner, I can click to export it. And then I will save it to my phone. And that's the image I will post here after I get done chit-chatting. So let's go ahead and we'll go back to the main screen. Now we can go into my album and it's asking if I want to keep my current selection, which is what I just created. And if I click on the C star, it's now I'm going to click on that folder for MGC 7635. And then right here today, it says today, that's that stacked image right there. And then we could export it, do any editing in the C Star app itself. A lot of things we could do different here. So next I'm gonna sh um, just put up a couple of images with different varying lengths of exposure so we can see the difference. This first picture is 79 minutes. Uh, the second one is 233 minutes. And then this next one is the 324 minutes. The, the one we just did today, that is the denoised version. And then I will put up the 324 that is just straight off the C-star, not denoised. And so those are the differences you can see in here. Um, that the, the detail is quite a bit different, um, but that is stacking 970 exposures. Hope you enjoyed this uh, look into stacking multiple days. Uh, we're wishing clear skies to everybody. Thanks for watching.